Um, in case you haven't noticed already, we are a rock and roll band, and we are called Old Times. And the lovely people here at TEDx have asked us to come here and play some music, of course, but also talk a little bit about the blues, specifically what it is and how we apply it in our own music. Uh, we're going to be, firstly, taking you through the structure of a 12-bar blues form, and at the same time as that, we're going to be starting introducing some drums, oh. some bass, <laughs> nice, <laughs> some guitar, that's me, and, of course, vocals. <laughs> Um, so in doing that, hopefully, not only will you have an understanding of the blues, you'll also have maybe a better appreciation as to the roles of all the instruments within the overall band and how it comes together and contributes to the sound. Um, so one more quick note before we start, and then we will start, I promise. Um, just to, like, when we were coming up with this talk, we were thinking, like, well, what are we going to talk about firstly? And we were like, okay, we'll talk about the blues. And then we were like, well, why? Like, why the blues? And we kind of identified two main reasons. Um, the first one being that the blues is a universal language that pretty much all musicians across the world would be familiar with. So specifically, if we go to a jam session in London, Dublin, New York, Hong Kong, any part of the world, chances are the musicians there will know how to improvise over 12-bar blues form. So having that kind of universal language, that kind of like common currency between all the musicians is really useful, especially when you're going to a jam session, you, you don't know anyone there, you don't know the songs, but you know, a great icebreaker can be, hey, let's play a 12-bar blues. Sure, you were in Seoul, what, two years ago? That's true, sure yeah. Came in very, very handy. That, yeah, I was in Seoul two years ago, and the same thing. I went to like a bunch of open mic nights to meet with musicians, and I was like, let's just do a 12-bar blues. And they're like, oh, instantly they knew to... Okay, we're in there. So, anyways, I'm talking way too much. We're just going to start playing some music. Do you guys want to hear some music, yeah? <laughs> nice. So I'm going to hand you over to our drummer, Kai, who is the foundation of all of this, and he'll explain what we're going to do. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you getting on? <laughs> that was rhetorical. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you've all established what instrument I play. The best one. He's Drop a really my mess now, exactly. <laughs> So as Colin just says, I am, I'm going to be laying down the foundation to this song coming up here now. And what that means is that I'm going to be throwing down a beat, a rhythm, and a certain time signature that allows the rest of the band to follow along with me. And I cannot stress this enough, people. It's crucial that they follow along with me, because it's me. But uh, it's not the point. It's the point that they could be playing together, and they could be playing so perfectly, but if they're not in line with the rhythm and the percussion of the, the, the song, the song's just going to fall apart. It's not going to work. So in this case, what I'm going to be doing is a 6-8 pattern, and it's just, you're counting six measures over eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It's very simple. You can actually count along if you want, but please, for the love of God, count in time. Please. So a 6-8 is actually one of my personal favorites, and it's very common in the blues world, and it's actually very commonly known as slow blues, and it sounds something a little like this. Oh, that's good now. Now that we've got the boom boom noises down, I'll go to show you over to the real music. Without further ado, I'll hand you over to Finn Bassman O'Callaghan over here, oh. and he's going to take you on a musical journey. It's my new name. Somehow. It's his new name. He has no choice. In the rehearsal space. Yeah. So, the bass guitar. How I like to see the bass guitar is as the bridge between what's happening over here and what happens to my left. So in other words, the rhythm and the harmony. So the harmony, without getting into too many technical terms, is kind of what happens musically with the notes. So if we're saying a D or a G, the drums generally don't have to think about that, unless you're playing the timpani in the orchestra or something. I'm not a real musician. He doesn't deal with notes, <laughs> and I am the bridge between his part of the band and theirs. So what most bass players do, and a lot of them have based their entire career off of this, no pun intended, <laughs> is to follow yeah. Brian Tuberty here. So this big drum in the middle, two hits, start of every minute. So if I'm to choose a note and then establish the key, it'll sound something like that. So the note I'm playing right now is D, and generally in the blues, the first note will be the tonal center, so the key of the song and how we're going to progress with the rest of it. So if I'm to kind of take all of his individual parts and add them onto the bass, it should go something like this. Now, oh. can I get you to drag your attention over to the boys? What are they doing? They're nodding their heads. <laughs> so this means it's passed. We passed the groove test. Yes, the groove test. We never fail the groove test. Not and yet. If it's, if it's really, really good, it passes the stink face test. That just means 
you know, you like smelt a fart or something, but it's actually a good thing in music. It means it's like really good. Yeah, Kai's got it there, yeah, yeah. And I think actually probably probably was one of those. I was actually hours. just smelling myself. I haven't showered in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Anyways, that means it's time for me to play. I'm gonna be using three chords for the blues, our one chord, our four chord, and our five chord. So that's our one chord. This is our four. We're going back to our one. We stay for a little bit. We might even do a little passing, like this. Back to the four chord. And then we're going back to the one chord. Oh. Oh. Helps if it's in tune as well. Ah, it's fine. It's good. Up to the five. We're back to the four, and then that's it. We're back to the one, a little turnaround. And then we might improvise a solo. And again, we want to think like, a, like we're speaking. So in like a phrase, give it a bit of space. That's your full stop there. And then you might think of something else you need to say. Maybe some people like to speak really quietly, like... Some people are really shy, they're really quiet. And then some people just speak way too much. And some people are kind of really loud, I guess. That's it. That's the basic structure of a 12 bar blues. And there's only one thing we're missing now, and that's vocals. So we're gonna hand you over to our vocalist, Gabby, here. And when he's, when, no, he's good. <laughs> and when he's singing, listen out for the structure. He's gonna be singing with like an A-A-B structure. That just means he's gonna say something, he's gonna say it again, and he's gonna say something different the last time. So have a listen, and give him a big round of applause. Make him feel like, yeah, good. The sky is crying Look at the tears roll down the street And then you can make it more sad Still the same line Oh, yeah, the sky is crying Oh, yeah Honey, look at the tears roll down my face That's it. So that's, that's the whole blues. Mm -hmm. So, did we forget any parts? No. I don't think so. I think that's it. That is the whole blues. So, what we're going to do now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. So, just one other thing. So, the blues is what we said a universal language, and it, it can be found in many different types of music. So, we can find it in rock and roll, funk. Lots of other genres of music. So I think the easiest thing to do is we're going to take you through how that would look in different styles. So we're going to go from this into like a shuffle type blues, into a funkier blues, and then finally with like a rock and roll type blues. So yeah, I'm going to do that now for you. So oh, yeah? Kai is going to lead the way. So yeah. Sweet little baby, I'm a little lover. 
Thank you very much. <laughs> it was a little, uh, little journey through the different stores.